Hello everybody, it's Rosie and welcome back to my channel and it is officially November. Now November fall isn't quite the same as October fall, but it's also not like Christmas time yet. And I, the only way that I can properly describe November in my head is cranberry. Like cran cranberry is a November thing. I have no idea if that makes sense to anybody but me, but that's how I classify it. But in today's video, I kind of just wanted to do some cozy fall things. It's like kind of the end of the fall season and the beginning of the Christmas season or the holiday season depending on what you celebrate. So I kind of just wanted to do some cooking, watch a movie, light a candle tonight. I wanted to take you guys along with me. So make sure you like this video if you have not already. Subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. So first things first, uh, we have to light a candle and we have this lovely bath and body works candle. I got it during the sale last year, but it is vanilla pumpkin and marshmallow. So we just gotta light this sucker up. It smells really good. Like it's sweet without being like super overbearing. Okay, step one, done. Handsome man. Hello. So in my personal opinion, the best part of fall is pumpkin spice cupcakes. Like I have been making pumpkin spice cupcakes every single year for years and years and years and years and years and it is my favorite part of fall. But I will be using the organic pumpkin puree from Trader Joe's just because that's the cheapest one that I've found so far. And I will be following a recipe by Preppy Kitchen which will be linked down in the description. So let's get baking. So while the cupcakes are in the oven, I am going to make the frosting and I actually cheat on the frosting. I just use canned frosting, but I add like pumpkin spice mix and all of that stuff into it. So it tastes like I made it. Um, it's not really super difficult to dress up canned frosting. So just keep that in mind if this is something that you want to make because this slaps just as hard as anything you can make from scratch. So stay tuned. So my quote unquote secret recipe is one jar of frosting. This is vanilla frosting, but cream cheese frosting is also super good. You wanna make sure that it is room temperature because that way it'll just like mix more evenly. I start with nutmeg. This is just an orange zester. And then I have a little nut of nutmeg, clove. I don't really know what it's technically called but this is super aromatic. I just dropped it in the frosting. That's embarrassing. Okay, don't put too much in because it does overpower everything else uh, really easily. So that's just something to keep in mind. I also <laughs> literally eyeball everything. So sorry that I can't give you any measurements. Now we have cinnamon, maybe like teaspoon or two of that. And then we have pumpkin pie spice. So maybe like a teaspoon again. I don't have any ground ginger, but if I did, I would put that in there too. And then we just mix it up. Of course we have to give it a taste. And that's the stuff, that's, that's the stuff. Also, so test it immediately after you're done mixing it, but then wait a few minutes and kind of just wait for the spices and the flavors to meld together and then you'll have a better idea if it needs anything more. Oh, also, totally forgot to add this in. Vanilla frosting can definitely taste pretty artificial. So add in some vanilla extract. This is pure bourbon vanilla extract from Trader Joe's. And I feel like this just gives it a little extra oomph that it wouldn't otherwise have. There is nothing more satisfying than licking the whisk. So in my house, I found the Trader Joe's Harvest Blend Herbal Tea, which I wanna give it a go. It has cinnamon, ginger, hibiscus, and then chamomile and other natural flavors. So we'll see how I like this. Mm. 
Okay, the tea is cool enough to drink, I think, I hope. It's better than I remember it, but I still want to drink it every day. It's like, it smells, it smells really good, but it tastes mediocre. Like it smells better than it tastes. I'm getting like subtle hints of apple and like spice, but just not, it's not super strong. And I want it to be stronger than it is. Um. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Like, it's, it'll be nice to enjoy on occasion, maybe with like a donut, like an apple cider donut. This would be good with. I was saying, I'm gonna watch The School for Good and Evil because I just finished the book series. Okay, hello friends. It is much, much later. I am back at school. I finished the school for good and evil and I have thoughts that I am here to share with you. So like I mentioned earlier, I like just finished the book series. Like three days ago. Um, so I'd say that I can speak on this, but I did. So I didn't dislike it. Okay. It just was different. And it left off on a cliffhanger, so I'm gonna assume that they're planning on making a sequel. However, there were characters that were in the first book that are necessary for the second book to happen. And these characters weren't in the movie. So I don't really know how they're gonna carry out the plot of the second movie. Um, but I'm interested to see how it goes. I I did like it. Um, Sophia Wiley is... I love her. Um, <laughs> and Charlize Theron is a very attractive woman. So it was, it was really great on all fronts. Um, yeah, but <laughs> I'm gonna head to bed for the evening. I finished my cupcakes. Like, I just had a relaxing night in, and that was really nice. It was much needed, especially out of being out of state for a week and a half. Like, I just needed to sit back and relax. But thank you guys for coming along um, throughout my evening with me. And comment down below what your favorite fall activities are. But make sure you like this video if you have not already, and subscribe to my channel, because we are so, 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 so close to my goal of 250 for the year. And I will see you in another video very, very soon. Okay, bye!